gate 2021 civil engineering set 1 question number 16 which of the following is not a correct statement so we need to find out the incorrect statement so the option a is first reading from a level station is a foresight option b is basic principle of surveying is to work from whole to parts option c is contours of different elevations may intersect each other in case of an overhanging cliff option d is planimeter is used for measuring area a reference to the relevant NBTEL courses or videos has been cited coming to the useful data for measurements in leveling work we use three types of uh, site readings the first reading is termed as back site reading the second reading which we took is termed as foresight reading and the third reading is termed as intermediate side racing site readings we can easily understood it by this simple figure if we are given a particular area and there could be different kind of levels in it so if you put over third light here which is a leveling instrument and the first reading with respect to benchmark is termed as backside readings and the last reading could be anywhere if we let's say if we uh, let's say if we have put, kept a staff here so that reading would be termed as intermediate side readings and the last reading would be foresight reading at foresight readings we either change the instrument or we close the work so at point fs is also termed as a changing point where we shift to the instrument or where we close our work <clears throat> coming to the second statement where we discuss about the principles of surveying normally we discuss about two principles of surveying the first one is <clears throat> working from whole to part in which the major control points are defined first and the largest measurements are taken with high degree of precision and smaller points are or smaller measurements are taken with a low degree of precision and if we use working from whole to part principle the error accumulation will be very low coming to the second principle of surveying which is about finding the location of a point with respect to two reference points in this principle let's say if we have a point a here and we have a point b here and we need to find out the location of a point c which is at some distance from point a and b so what we will do that we will simply use chain and we will find the distance from point a to c let's say this is l1 and we'll find the distance from point b to point c so let's say this is l2 so like that we can find the location of other point with respect to a with respect to two reference point so this method is known as chain method like that we have other methods in it in it which are offset method and we have other methods which are which is compass method and we have other method which is traverse method coming to the third statement which discusses about contour contour is a line joining points of equal elevation let's say we have a cliff here we have elevations uh, varying from top to bottom let's say elevation of this point is 280 meter and here it is 260 meter and here it is 240 meter we as you can clearly see that elevation here at point a and elevation here at point b is equal so the line joining point a and point b signifies the uh, the contour that word contour looks like if the difference between two successive contours is equal like that here we can see that here it is 20 meter and here it is also 20 meter so it is so that that the elevation or the slope of the cliff is of uniform slope so this is a property of contours the second property of a contour is two contour of different elevations can never touch join and cross each other but we have two exceptions here the first one is overhanging cliff and the second one is vertical cliff 
in overhanging cliff you can clearly see that the control line here the control line at this level and the control line other level if we take the projections of these uh, these lines we see that there are some points where these lines are coinciding with each other so in the overhanging cliff we can clearly see that it opposes the above statement and same with the vertical cliff as you can see here that here the slope is uniform but here uh, the slope is uh, is not uniform as it is a vertical cliff so for these the control lines are uh, coinciding at this point let's say this is point a so here we can see that in overhanging cliff and in the vertical cliff the contours are matching or uh, touching each other at some point so which is uh, which is which is an exception to the above statement coming to the last statement which discusses about the planimeter planimeter is an instrument which is used in surveying to calculate the total area of any given plane and it is normally used in those areas where the area is irregular so if you take a simple photograph or we if we have the map or or a photograph of a particular area by using the planimeter or by with the help of planimeter we can get the area of but of that particular place so after seeing all these statements we can see that option a is incorrect we says that first reading from a label station is a foresight but as we have discussed earlier that first reading from a label station is a back side so the option a is incorrect and other three options are correct so answer would be option a reference to the relevant and courses or video has been cited